Edwardian architecture, it's just stunning. So we're just looking in some estate agent windows here. Good morning everybody, how you doing? I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel and to another weekend vlog. Love these weekend vlogs. It's not the weekend vlog. Well, it's basically the weekend. Today is Friday the 18th. Of 19, it's basically Friday in June. Um, not really relevant when this video goes live, but very exciting. Sorry, is behind me. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> really exciting. Zara's got a day off, so we are driving to Bath. Um, I want to put a fairly big disclaimer at the beginning of this this video before uh, we continue with the vlog, just to be clear. I have to get this right, so I'm just going to say it. Um, we are doing this safely. With we have. As everyone else has been indoors, abided by the rules of our government, which is in the United Kingdom and England. Obviously, I know in Scotland and in Wales and Ireland are slightly different, and across the world are different. We are allowed outside the house now for activities that aren't just essentials. That's correct, isn't it? Yeah, so not just exercise. Not just exercise or supermarket visits or medication visits. We're allowed out. You can see friends and family at a two meter social distance. In You're garden. In gardens, outdoor spaces, parks, um, anyway, essentially social distance. And um, there's some places around the country now that are opening. Currently, when we're filming this, all of the retail stores have reopened back in the UK, or at least 70% of them have. Yeah, 100%. So, um, Especially chains. Oh, okay. Yeah, exactly. Some restaurants are operating takeout services. The economy has to keep rolling. So, Zara has friends. If you've been watching the channel for quite a while, and um, Zara has a friend, Claude, who lives in Bath. And Chloe has been isolating with her boyfriend Tom in a completely separate house. So her house has been inhabited for four months? Three, four months. Three I think it was the day they announced lockdown, she surely left the flat. Okay. She hasn't been back. Since. So today, we just get the keys. Yeah. So essentially, we we have an Airbnb as such in Bath. And I know there's going to be a couple of people who say we still shouldn't be doing that, but we aren't going to have contact with anyone. We're going to get the keys. Chloe's going to leave the keys for us to collect. And that's it. We are still going to social distance when we see her and her boyfriend. Whatever we get up to will be socially distanced. We're going to be clean. We're taking hand sanitizer. We're still going to wash our hands thoroughly. We've got masks. We're taking all of our own food so we don't have to go and buy anything. We've got our own drinks. We're taking our own everything, basically. We're being really sensible. So I just want to say that now. Sorry, that's a really long intro. I just don't want it to flag up in the comments that we're being frivolous or that we're not abiding by the rules because, trust me, we have given this a lot of thought. Like, Possibly too much thought. Yeah, I feel like we've overthought mm. when there's other people that are carrying on as normal. Oh. Yeah, we're, we're being, yeah. That's the plan. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna pack up some groceries and some bits and bobs. I nipped to Audi on Monday and got loads of like little deli bits. So we've got some tomatoes, some cheese and onion rolls, some fruit, hummus, dips. We're gonna have picnics, obviously, because you're allowed to have picnics outside. Uh, we're gonna take the picnic blanket. We've got more snacks going on here. We've got bananas, popcorn. These are like Aldi dupes of Pringles. We're gonna take our own juice of things for breakfast. Gin. <laughs> um, I got this in Tesco. This is actually on special, and this is Plymouth gin. Um, Zara's from Plymouth. Plymouth rep was then. <laughs> um, and this is one of the oldest gin distilleries in the. No, whole of is this oh, is, is it? Why we're going to the toilet? Oh, well, this is. Learn. I thought it was. I was reading about it in Tesco. Apparently, it's the oldest gin distillery in the whole of the UK, and it's, it's functioning. It's function. It's delicious. I absolutely love it. So, um, yeah, Plymouth gin. We've got some San Pellegrino lemonade and some Fever Tree tonic and some beers. So that's going to last us for the whole weekend. Trust, we're not going to have that whole bottle of gin. Um, mm. that's going to last us many more weekends. But we thought we'd get it. This is our picnic basket. It's from Sainsbury's Home. A lot of people do ask us about. It. It's brilliant. So we're just going to stuff it full of goodies and then we're gonna hit the road so where we park in London um, we have streetcar park and as a lot of other people do we have permits outside we've got to pay for them the ones outside our flat are free so Zara's getting ready this morning and someone's boxed her car in which there's boxing my car in mm. and then there's like don't leave so um let me show the car I mean they basically reversed up you and then I have oh, no room is that gonna yeah, it's kind yeah. of, yeah. Anyway, I've left him a note. So Zara's left him a note, so potentially we might be driving in my car. That wasn't the original plan, but that's fine. We're just going to pack everything up now, get all of our bags together, our hall dolls, and um, drive to the bath. I'll catch you guys when we're in the car, if we make it in Zara's car or my car. <laughs> Yeah, I was out of touch How did you know this song so well? But it wasn't because 
Okay, so we made it to Bath. It's very exciting. Uh, we just collected the keys from Claw from a remote drop-off point. It was very safe. So we collected them um, and we've just popped our bags in the place that we're staying, which is obviously Claw's apartment, which is empty. Um, and now we're gonna go to a golfing range that has just opened. Um, it's opened recently in Bath. It's COVID safe. So everything that is in there is obviously gonna be socially distanced um, and all of the equipment that you use, well, just basically the golf clubs are sanitized. So it's great. Um, obviously I know this is again circumstantial too. Things that are currently happening in England, obviously different places have different rules, but I think it's really important to just try, I'm gonna say normality, but I know this isn't normal, but at least try and support where we can, put money into what we can do and make it as safe and as enjoyable as possible. Okay, so change of plan. We got to the driving range and they actually ran out of golf balls, which is fine, but um, we're gonna go back tomorrow. So golf will be in this vlog <laughs> in some form. We will be still doing it. It's just gonna be tomorrow. Um, so instead what we're gonna do is just go back to Claude's apartment and have some food. Um, and maybe just, I think that's gonna be it for today, really. The weather's not so great, and it's like four, it's like 20 past four now, and obviously Zara's been driving, so. To be fair, we were using today to make sure we were here so we could enjoy yeah, the problem tomorrow. Exactly, and we're leaving early on Sunday, but not early, but early-ish on Sunday morning. So we're gonna have a lovely full day tomorrow, but today I feel like it's just gonna be super chill, have some food, and um, that's, yeah, that's gonna be it. So we'll catch you guys as and when. So we've made it into the center of Bath, and it's fairly quiet. I mean, it's very, very quiet, obviously. Lockdown is still happening, but um, so we're walking to uh, the Royal Crescent, which is like a lovely part of Bath, and there's like some greenery outside. And hopefully, fingers crossed, the weather will stay dry and we can um, sit and have a couple of drinks and some snacks in the outdoors. It's very nice to be here. Look how I just feel like you go back in time walking through Bath, it's just so lovely. So this coffee shop is really, really nice. Obviously it isn't open. Oh, it is open actually. It's called The Bakery and it's just amazing. We're just gonna head on up. So apparently where we are now is the circus and this is just, oh, the houses in Bath are, they're unreal. So nice. It's like going back in time. This is pure like Georgian Edwardian architecture and it's just stunning. Anyway, we're continuing to the Crescent which is just a bit further on. Good morning everybody, so it's very windy and it's very sunny, probably not the best time to start my vlog, but we're at the driving range, we came back um, and we're playing a bit of golf this morning. I'm going to just put a time lapse on and explain what we're doing afterwards, but socially distanced golf. So we've just had some instruction from Tom and basically, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it's all in the hands, and I mean that's how it's done. But I think basically you've got to um, have it in like a way that it means you always watch the ball, as far as I'm aware. But I hit it first time doing golf. Yeah, where did you get that information from? That's good. Lovely pole. What's on that chair, man? So we came inside because apparently it's a bit more um, safe <laughs> inside. It's a bit more safe um, away from like the parked cars. Very good social distance and activity because you're all two. Jesus Christ, two meters apart. Go on. There, there she is. There you go. Good Hi. lord. <laughs> Novice. We're not in mini golf anymore, are we? No. Keep staring at the ball. I am. I'm just trying to get okay. the L right. I'm nailing the, the L. Well done, Luke. I feel like we're getting further. 
So we finished golf. That was actually very, very fun. I've never played golf in my life. And I do have a bit of four. Oh god, look, it's like got a bump. My forearm does feel like I've definitely just played go golf, which is very interesting. But um, I quite liked it. It was definitely, once you got the knack of it, it was fine. Needed to get into the motion of being able to know where the ball was in relation to the, the stick. That makes sense, doesn't eyes it? Eyes on the ball. Eyes on the ball. Time. Yeah, eyes on the ball. Don't look where you want it to go. Look where it should be. I just don't know, but anyway, it was great fun. We enjoyed it. We're gonna go back to the apartment now, grab some snacks and bits and bobs, and we're gonna go punt them. It's a traditional thing that you do in England, in Britain, um, and it's gonna be on the River Avon. So, again, obviously, we're just gonna contain ourselves to a boat, and it's gonna be fun. I'm very excited, and um, yeah, I'll take you guys along. We're gonna go back to the apartment, freshen up, grab some bits for lunch, and then head to the boats. I feel like I was gonna show you this in the car, but this is just how old Bath is, and how just incredible the architecture is like everything is just so old it feels like you're from the medieval times it's just it's amazing a lot of the properties in bath are listed as well so it means you can't do anything to them and they're protected by like heritage sites or there's absolutely zero development and they just have to remain in their original character which is it's just brilliant i love it so we've just arrived at the bath boating core and um, we're going to hire some of the putting boats and um they are open which is brilliant but the rain Potentially might make an appearance only just, but we'll be all right. We're gonna be good. We'll just go on in. Right, so we've got our boat. This is our boat. We're about to climb aboard. How are you feeling, Zara? I'm kind of nervous. I just need to check the logistics of if we're gonna fall in. We'll be fine, I'm sure. Oh yeah, no, I was. So we're on the boat. Is this a boat? Is it called a boat? Or has it got a proper like, punt? We're on Beatrice. <laughs> On the board BT. Um, it's lovely to be fair, the rain has actually stopped, which is very nice. It's just a very lovely afternoon. So we're having a bit of a race with um, close housemates, so they're just behind us. So I was doing really well. But this is the River Avon. Oh my god, we've got serious speed going on now, guys. Woo! basically finished up on the boards and then that was it we, we had a barbecue in the park it was a relatively chill day and some people my vlog camera because we just sat with um Chloe and Tom but obviously distancing so yeah it was lovely now we're in the center of Bath and we're just having a day wandering around I'm quite excited Bath is just very very quiet so in um, England some of the shops are actually now reopening which is which is good but um yeah still very quiet so obviously there are shops that are open but the majority of them are still closed and we don't really need to do any shopping we're just more just having a wander and um, we're gonna get a coffee from a place i visited in bath the first time i ever came to bath actually it's oh, called it. mm -hmm. yeah it's really nice no, 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 it's called um, Kelowna and Smalls. It's like apparently one of the best coffee shops in the UK, let alone in Bath. So um, yeah, we'll go. It's only about a five minute walk. Yeah, I'll show you Bath. It's beautiful, but very quiet. Last time we were here, they had all of like the Christmas markets like down there. And now it just is very, very empty. And this is the old Bath pump rooms. There's so much history in Bath, it's actually crazy. But yeah, these are all pump rooms that they used to have in the Roman times. Obviously they're not open yet, but they will be soon. So this is the coffee shop, this is Kelowna and Smalls. I'll show you more when we're inside, but it's really nice. That's the um that's the name of it. <laughs> I've gone for a um I asked for an Americano and she almost like slapped me. She was like, we don't do those. <laughs> so she gave me a beautiful filter coffee and oh also, me and Zara have a thing about sage green doors at the minute. We're really enjoying them. Sorry, I digress. Anyway, Zara got a nice latte and I got a um I think it was like a Guatemalan filter coffee and it just smells amazing. All freshly ground, freshly brewed. So we're just looking in some estate agent windows. If you haven't seen our video about us potentially moving, we do this now frequently more than ever. And some of these are just absolutely beautiful. Like this, this place here is a flat and it's sold for 1.75 million pounds. <laughs> but I mean, it's just, it's amazing. One day Zara, look at that one. Oh my gosh. 
We are very much traditionalists when it comes to houses and that's so nice. And look at the colour of the door. I know, sage, sage. green. <laughs> yeah, we're just having a little wander through the town now. Might just have a look near the abbey, have a little explore. Oh, more houses. <laughs> So this is the Abbey, and it's probably the quietest I've ever seen the Abbey in, well, every time I've ever came to Bath. It's usually flooded with people, but um, it's beautiful. just came, well, to the outskirts of Alexandra Park and it's got really lovely views over the whole of Bath. Also, sorry about this little mark on my screen. I'm not quite sure what's going on with the lens, but we're just gonna, we're gonna roll with it. And we've just got a take out pizza and some bits from Pret. So we're gonna have some lunch before we set off back to London. <laughs> Bath. Oh, the drive was, I mean, Zara drove there and back, bless her. Um, the drive was fine. Traffic wasn't too bad at all. I uh, just got back. I've had a delivery, which is very exciting, from um, a company called Glossy Box. I think they primarily do women's boxes, but I've been sent a men's one, so I'm going to have a little unbox with you all. And then we're making a risotto for dinner. I'm very excited about that. It's going to be like a butternut squash risotto. There's always that like five minute warm period when you come in from the outdoors and you unpack everything. It's just, sweat is real. <laughs> so I'm going to unbox this with you now. Um, I haven't actually looked inside. Oh wow. Oh my gosh, this is exciting. So this is the Glossy Box Grooming Kit. It's a limited edition kit and it, oh my, wow. Oh my gosh, there's so much in here. This is very generous. Oh, I'm going to have a little sneak peek. Oh my goodness, wow. This, whoa. I didn't realize they'd be like full size products. This is amazing. I've used this mouthwash before, so I know that's really good, but I haven't used any of these things. Oh, wow. Some charcoal deep cleansing strips. I've heard um, a lot of people use these, and this used to be a brand I used uh, on my skin. So that's awesome. We've got a hand moisturizer, very useful for, I guess, with the antibacterial stuff that we're using currently. Stress Rescue Super Cream, that is definitely useful. What's this? Wakey Wakey Body Wash, oh, okay. That's good, a nice travel size as well for when we can travel again. Like I say, the mouthwash by Regenerate is always good. Uh, what have we got going on here? The Spray On Moisturizer, this is very handy. I love that, it's by the Gruff Stuff. And uh, what's this? Two Month Facial and Beard Conditioner, okay, very useful again. Foot peel. I've never used a foot peel in my life, but I mean, handy, very handy. That's amazing. Wow, I'll um, I'll link this down below if you'd like to give it a try. Um, I know obviously I do have a lot of um, women and men who follow me, so if this is of use and of interest, that's amazing. You can get them as like subscription boxes and you get sent new ones every month. That's very kind of glossy box. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna have five minutes. Maybe I'll have a glass of water. <laughs> um, we just flew up the stairs, that's why, so. Yeah, I'm gonna have a glass of water, and then um, we'll start making some dinner in a bit, which I'm very excited about. Oh, and I'm gonna have a little um, FaceTime Zoom chat with my auntie, because I haven't spoke to her in some time. Okay, so I've just finished up the Zoom call with my auntie and uncle, and now I am cracking on with dinner. So we're having a risotto. I've just started the risotto off. You've seen me make risotto a hundred different times before, but it's just a classic onion, garlic, thyme, uh, white wine, a borio risotto rice, and we're just doing a vegetable stock. And I'm just gonna pop some frozen peas in, because these need eaten up. And then in the oven, I have some roasted butternut squash, so we're going to do that on top as well. And lots of um, cheese, because it's good. Risotto is just such a classic. It's a bit time consuming and a bit laborious, because you've got to wait till all of the stock is absorbed before you stir more in, but it's worth it. And this is looking good. I wish it was smell of vision I wish you could smell, because it is just, oh, perfect. So I've just added in the frozen peas and just stirred those through. The peas don't take very long to cook at all because you just like warming them up. I'm gonna season this with salt and pepper and then add in some of our vegetarian hard cheese and then we can serve it up with the butternut squash. I'm so excited, this looks like so silky and creamy. I 
I did that classic thing where I forgot to end my vlog again. That risotto was incredible, but you know when you just eat a dinner and it just makes you feel so lethargic? After that drive, I just felt so tired. We literally just watched a couple of episodes of Schitt's Creek and then I fell asleep at nine o'clock. I know. I know, <laughs> must have needed it. But um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this little vlog and a little tour around Bath. Obviously, again, we were taking extra precautionary measures to be safe and I hope everyone else else is as well, sorry. Um, and yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the vlog. Thank you so much for watching. If you have, as always, if you could give it a thumbs up and also click the subscribe button, that would be amazing. But yeah, I'll catch you all very soon in another vlog. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.